Hey everyone, so I'm back again with another video. This time around I have some retro video game pickups. I actually only have three games to show you guys today. I paid $20 for these three NES games and in my opinion that was a pretty decent deal. So I'll go ahead and show you guys the first two games and then leave the third one to show you guys last. So the first game that I picked up, it was really sticky and dirty. It had tons of sticker residue all over it, uh, but I was able to clean it up no problem. It's not necessarily a valuable game, but it's a game that I don't see that often. Actually, I think I've only ever seen it once before. Uh, and it's a Bandai game, so I went ahead and grabbed it. It's Dragon Spirit, the new legend. And, yeah, it's in really good condition. And I thought, why not? It looked kind of interesting, but I can't say much about that because I haven't played it yet. Well, I played it for about a minute, and that was it, just to see that it's working just fine. Uh, the next game that I got, it did come with a sleeve, so... That was a bonus. At least it was a sleeve. It could have been the Nintendo sleeve, but one sleeve is better than no sleeve. Uh, the second game that I got here is a Capcom game. It's Little Nemo the Dream Master. And again, I know nothing about this game, but I saw it was a Capcom game, and I swear a couple of people have mentioned this game in the past, so I thought I might as well check it out. Like, all the other games this guy had were just terrible. It was at a pawn shop. Uh, I go to that pawn shop every so often, but there's never anything there. This time I walked in, they had, like, huge stacks of NES games, and I was just happy. I went ahead and took a look at them, but the majority of them were very, very basic games. Bionic Commando, Russian Attack, um, Super Mario... Uh, not even Super Mario 3 or Super Mario 2. It was just uh, Super Mario Bros. and Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt. So I left all that behind and I grabbed these three games. Now, like I said, this is the second game that I got. And the third game that I got is actually a game that I already own. And the reason why I got it is because I know that it's a game that's going up there in price and it's pretty much gone up a significant amount in the last year or so so to get it for about six dollars and change I would have been stupid to leave it behind and to prove that I have two copies of this game I got SCAT. Uh, of course SCAT is a, a hilarious name for a game or for anything really but it means special cybernetic attack team and both of these, honestly, are in, like, 9 out of 10 condition. They're just absolutely perfect in my eyes, at least. Um, but yeah, I'm happy to have a second copy of that, because that just means I can trade it towards something else that I really, really want, like a nice, expensive Dreamcast game, or maybe even a PS1 game. I'll see what... I can get for it. I know that if I take it to a store, they're going to give me even less than if I try to sell it on my own. But trying to sell it on my own, who knows how long that's going to take. And usually it's just not worth the effort. Um, anyways, that's all I got. I got those three games for 20 bucks at a local pawn shop that I visit every so often. Happened to find something good this time. I also almost bought an NES Advantage controller. It was in perfect condition, but the guy wanted 20 bucks for it. I'm like, hey, listen, um, hey, listen, sorry. Um, I was getting these three games for 20 bucks. I asked him, can you do 35 for everything together? He refused. I tried to grease the wheels by offering, <laughs> I offered him like two more dollars. I really didn't have any more money that I was willing to spend on that at the moment. And, uh, he pretty much refused saying that somebody else offered him even more. So I'm like, you know what, that's fine, go ahead, take it. Because I really didn't want to spend $20 or more on an NES Advantage controller. Even though I don't have one, it's just that price is too crazy. 
Anyways, I'm rambling now. As always, leave comments in the comment section below. Anything you'd like to say, comments, questions, suggestions, ideas, anything at all, and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Uh, check out my 300 subscribers contest. Uh, enter if you'd like. Uh, it'll be linked somewhere here and in the description below. Uh, check out my Facebook, Twitter, website. They're all linked in the description below as well. And that's about it. See ya.